Hi there, this is Faye from Face World Media. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a brand new tool I discovered called Press Master. The truth is that there's so many AI tools on the market today, and which one should you choose from? As a small business owner, as a creative entrepreneur, I think Press Master has so many different use cases for people like us. So for one, it is to help you create content seamlessly. The feature that I leverage the most is to use Press Master to create content that are on brand using my brand voice through the interactive dialogue that I can have with Press Master's built-in AI, I can publish content with confidence and know that they're gonna stand out from the crowd and really differentiate from generic AI outputs. For agencies and media teams, you can now create multiple brand voices. So you can use Press Master for various different purposes, clients and websites. So in this video, I wanna show you the four simple steps to get started with Press Master. Step one, capture your brand voice. Step two, use Trend Master, which is an AI tool built into Press Master to identify trends that are unique for your brand and your industry. Step three, generate your content using built-in AI interview and pinned ideas. Step four, you can publish with one click. Press Master can actually be integrated with multiple platforms, including WordPress and your social media platforms. Press Master, will create tailored fixed social media posts for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Blue Sky, and coming soon, which is Threads. So without further ado, let me give you a full walkthrough. I welcome your ideas, your questions. I think Pressmaster has so many different use cases, and I'm very excited to continue to experiment Pressmaster for Face World, for Sound the Art, and a variety of other projects we have on deck. Currently we have the pro plan, by the way, this means we have access to all the features. In this way, I can more comfortably show you the full capability of Press Master. First, I'm gonna create a workspace called Face World. Now, what we're gonna do is go into dashboard. As you can see here, you can create new article or share social posts. You can also use this feature to discover trends in your industry, which is really interesting. This way, before you start writing, you can find out more of what people are looking for. Here, you can set preference. You can select your industry. As you can see, advertising, marketing, enterprise technology. Describe the industry you're interested in. By the way, under settings, you can also create a brand guideline. Under brand guideline, you can set a new brand voice. And here is a quick tutorial on how to do that. You can also train AI to understand your business. You can start the interview to define your brand identity. With this interview, you don't have to type so much or start from scratch. All you need is type in your website. So this way, Press Master can analyze it and give you its best guesses and analysis. While this takes a moment, I'll be right back to show you what we got. So that took about a minute or so. So let's have a read. Face Road is a digital strategy content creation company producing over 350 podcasts. It's actually pretty good. So here's what's interesting about your brand. This is very useful to put in my website and have it analyze it and see what we're about, how we stand out from the crowd. Target audience, great content creators, small business owners. If you feel like that doesn't quite cover what you wanted to cover, you can add your company link and refresh it. So I would say this is pretty good. I'm happy with it. If you want to create a detailed brand guideline, you can start with this interview. So now your brand guideline is there at a high level. We confirm that now brand voice. What it does is Press Master will use it to analyze your tone, your style unique to your brand as a reference for future content creation. So here I'm gonna call it Face World. And of course I can create one for my mom's brand, which is Xiang Liar or any of my brand voice as well. Paste content that reflects your brand voice and our AI analyzes its tone, provide valuable insights, use it as a reference. So what I wanna do is find a representative content. This is an article that I did for CNET, and I think it's well-written and it's relatively long. All right, let's use that. Okay, let's copy and paste into this little engine right here. So now brand voice is created. This is the face world. Maybe I can even say face world CNET. I do write slightly differently on my own blog versus what I do for CNET. But it's kind of interesting to create different styles. Maybe some is more analytical, some is more friendly and conversational this way that 
you can even within the content that you create on your own, you can have different brand voices. All right, let's apply. So that's brand voice is saved. Anytime I want to make a change, I can say this is face world CNET. You can read it. Obviously, it's always a good idea. Warm, educational, approachable, striking a balance between technical expertise and personal connection. Use accessible vocabulary with technical terms explained plainly. And here we have integrations. Remember that you're able to publish these assets directly onto these platforms. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, X, Blue Sky, and you can also publish directly on your websites. And there's a lot of them being supported here. You can add your team members. And right now I'm the only contributor. Let's take a look at Trend Master. Let's focus on now. Language is English. Refine your expertise. AI, content marketing, small business. This is analyzing trends and you can set these preference and revise them as needed. All right, so that took about five minutes and look at the trends and the articles that Pressmaster has identified. Let's take a look at one example. Fairness tool catches AI bias early. This is definitely a hot topic. And look at the content ideas. It gives you analysis based on a research paper. And then you're able to look at some of the ideas that can affect my customer, my audience. For example, how AI bias impacts your customers, trust and bottom line. There are other ideas as well. These are definitely on the more technical side, but I can probably tone down and really make it my own. Let's take a look at the dashboard because the bread and butter at the end of the day is to create new articles, quality articles, share social posts. Now let's go back to dashboard. Let's actually create a topic. Look, what is the topic of your video? You can attach files or images based on what we're thinking about. Remember the trend master. There are some ideas surfacing here already. The human touch is the new automation. I like this. You can also record it, by the way, if you want to give it more context, always adjust smart defaults, choose your creation mode, quick versus adaptive. Quick mode is the fast generation with minimum input. You guide the AI, you guide press master through questions one by one. And that's the example I'm going to show you. So adaptive right here. So content type, you can select thought leadership. Yep. And then industry trend, create a how-to tutorial. I like the how-to part, right? Like just don't tell people what's good, but show them how to actually do it. An article length, short, standard. I personally prefer something a little bit longer form and theme investigative, thought provoking. Sure, let's give it investigative, brand voice, first person singular, citation search, and generate quickly or do an interview. Chat with AI and talk to AI using your voice, hands-free and interactive. All right. Do you want to change any of your strategy? Approve and continue. Let's start the interview. This is the fun part. Let's see. What was the specific moment you first realized that business had automated away something that I shouldn't have? I think this is especially true when it comes to content creation, whether it's for podcasting, for article writing, or in the case of my mom's artwork, a lot of the traditional art or the initial design is best done by human and then you can evolve from there so that it's more unique and relevant for your business. Look at that, even spell sound the art correctly. Also, the way that I look at it is it doesn't have to be perfect. What specifically happens when you try to automate that initial creative phase versus keeping it human driven first? I feel like when we go to AI first for something unique and specific for our small business, it simply doesn't work. This is very different than researching or learning something in more general terms, because we as a small business owner have a very unique understanding of ourselves, our audience, and where we might want to take our business. We know what works and what makes our brands unique, why our customers trust us. I think we get lazy. We start with AI that takes away our own thinking makes our brands very generic, just like everybody else. And I don't think that's a way of standing out in the market today. You notice as I'm making mistakes, it's still transcribing and I can go back and correct that, but I want to see how I can have a natural conversation to the best ability. As you can see like down here, building momentum and getting insights. So some cases, my answers could be very short, sometimes a little bit longer. You said AI makes us lazy and stops our own thinking. Can you walk me through what that actually looks like? How does 
starting with I changes the way you approach creating something for your business. I don't think it's the situation where you can never leverage AI or AI is bad. Not at all. Comma. I think when we face a blank page and really don't know where to start, AI can help us embrace the blank page and nudge us in the right direction. I think, for example, when we create content for our business, something as simple as writing an article from the experience we had, let's say, at a client event or at an art festival, only we were there live in presence. And it's important to reflect on our experiences recording through a microphone with audio only. And I noticed the drastic difference and improvements when I record even like a one or two minute voicemail and that is significantly improve the quality of my article output and that same thing for newsletters for all the content including social media and that is guaranteed to engage with my audience more in an authentic way okay look great work so far instead of continuing the recording i just want to process the interview responses and see what we got your article is generated and you're able to access them anytime through under my articles let's take a look all right why I start with voice memos, not AI. I really like this because essentially this was my voice recording differentiating the laziness trap, the voice memo method, which is something really concrete, why this works. And there's a framework when AI actually helps. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys read the whole thing. If you want to, I'm going to include a link of this actual output for comparison's sake. And remember from here, what you're able to do is publish the article directly. Uh, you need to be able to connect your blog if you want this to go live on your WordPress, for example, right away. And remember, what we're going to show you next is how to prepare social media posts to coincide with the content that has been generated. Let's take a look at the social suite together. Once you click on social suite, you'll notice I've already created something based on the article. But to create a new social post, what you need to do is click on AI post. And what would you like to post? Now you can type it description, which means you can even leverage other pre-existing content if you want to. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go into the articles that we just created called the human touch. So let's click on that. And now I can choose the various platforms I want to create social posts for. So just click on agree and continue. Now your hooks have been tested. And it's based on a scoring system, as you can see at the top, but you still have your choice. Personally, I get excited for what I think are the better ideas. So to demonstrate, you know, our highest score, highest ranking hooks, let's click on that first one there, approve and create posts. I do like the user experience here a lot. I think it's very clean and clear at the very top. You can see all the social platforms and freely choose from there. And what's also important is that Pressmaster is analyzing each and every platform to make sure the hooks are slightly different and tailored to that platform. Look at the social content generated. You can, by the way, remove them if you no longer need them. And for something like X or Twitter, you'll notice that there are variations because on these platforms, sometimes you need to post more frequently, meaning more than once to actually generate buzz for the content that you share. So now the Instagram post is generated. As you can see, it's very clean and clear. And when you need to upload an image, click on this button right here. If you don't know how to generate a social media image, I will have to say that Adobe Express is going to be your friend. So as you can see on the homepage of Adobe, there are a lot of templates to choose from. I use Adobe for a variety of my projects, including my YouTube thumbnails. This one is after I search for voice memo and there's something you can find easily to use as a social media image. Let's just go ahead and download it. All right. And then we can just upload now to Pressmaster. Look at that. You can preview the whole thing. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Enjoy content creation, share your tips and tricks, and let's take our companies, small businesses to new heights.